Alright guys, welcome to uh, Daytona. So uh, before we get the uh, NASCAR iRacing series open started, uh, I figured um, it's been a while since I actually drove an open setup oval race, so uh, might as well get a practice race in. The real guys get one, so I figure I should get one too. I'm driving the uh, Ford Fusion all season long, and uh, yeah. Be my, it'll be my uh, first time running the uh, full NASCAR I Racing Series open season, but first uh, I gotta actually run a uh, practice race to get my uh, get get my groove back on the oval side, and uh, I haven't ri I haven't driven in a pack race in six months, so uh, definitely need some practice on that end too. So I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm a little nervous, but uh, not too worried. I did work on my setup a little bit, just by myself, not drafting with anybody. I took a, uh, a page out of the uh, Chad Knaus handbook there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Get ready. Okay. Gotta put my... Uh, voice chat up a bit in case I uh, need to draft with somebody. The base car is in. Green, green, green. And there we go. Bit of a log jam at the start here. Outside. Still there. Should take us about three quarters of a lap to get up to speed here. All clear, all clear. Yeah, one inside. All clear, He's all clear. dropping out of line. Must be going back to get a to get a uh, drafting partner. And already we got trouble right in front of us. Lap one. Trying to wreck up here. Careful, one low. Alright, no problems. We got past yeah, it. You. Are you fucking kidding me? Stay low. Well, already we got trouble. Stay low. These guys are losers, too. Still there. All clear, all clear. Have not... You have not done any tandem drafting at all, of course, as I just said. I really can't... I can't quite suck up to this six car here. I'm backing off a bit. I'm pretty sure somebody's on my outside. Well, maybe not. Pit window is about 35 to 40... actually 40-ish. 40, 40 laps or so. Yeah, one inside. So we should be making one pit stop in this Still race. There. Stay high. Stay high. And we got a blinker. That is not good. He could ruin the race for everybody. Stay high. Not a ton of win here. Still there. So, uh, getting a lot of speed down this back straightaway. I actually didn't realize this was a night race when I uh, joined up. So, uh, my setup is actually uh, more tuned for the daylight. Still there. But no biggie. And we got a wreck, and I'm in it. All right, man, caution is out. Caution is out. Slide up single fire. Pass the three car. Pass the eight team car. <sighs> Your car has too much damage. We've got to fix it. I don't know if anybody knows, but this new car, build is a little 20, sketchy, seven, pushing car, the car in the, the corners. 20, kind of seven, the car, car. The five, car. I can't say I didn't expect that. Yes, it does. Check it, check it. Nope, that's, <laughs> that's it. A couple cover it's a couple cover it. Car. That's it. We're fucking done already. That sucks. Motor's blown, can't do anything about that. That really fucking sucks. 
who didn't even really get going. That is just ridiculous. Looks like these two leaders just uh, got together. I don't know what I could have done to avoid that. I mean, it's plate racing. That's gonna happen in plate racing. I, I mean, I like to think I'm pretty good at avoiding wrecks, but plate racing is a totally different animal when it comes to that. You just can't do anything when you're side by side at going at those speeds. Let's take a look at that of, uh, take a look at that in slow motion. Wait, <laughs> okay, that's, uh, speed up. This is slow motion. Yeah, I mean, looks like uh, there was some bumper hook there from between the six and seven car. I and you can see I'm I'm totally off the uh, gas. Couldn't do anything to avoid it though. It's not like I can move down when there's cars on the inside. I don't know, it's just a product of this kind of racing. That's why I didn't qualify. <laughs> I didn't qualify, but of course I'm the number one car, so... I start right in the middle of the pack, where it's the most dangerous, and... Uh, apparently nobody gives a shit about taking it easy on lap three of the race. Everybody's gotta be like Cold Trickle and go for it on lap four. And of course, I'm getting hit from every direction. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, it's just laughable. And you know what else? The last three of the last four Daytona 500s I've attempted. Well, actually, two of the last three Daytona 500s. I've only attempted three, so... Last two out of three, I've been wrecked out of. So this does not bode well. And I don't want to do this again. I don't feel like losing more I rating as we uh, wait for the toe to finally finish up. Now it's going to be a little bit. But what a return to uh, pack racing for me. I, I thought I had a pretty good setup. I, I worked on I worked on my setup alone for two hours, like I said. And I actually did make some gains. I was, I was closing in on some of these, uh... I was actually pretty cl close to some of these, uh... Qualifying speeds by myself. With minimal tape in a race setup, so... And of course the car is... <laughs> every corner on the car is just destroyed. Getting run into from every angle. All the bodywork's being destroyed. Engine blows up. <laughs> Yeah, it just sucks. Roof flaps deployed, but that's not going to do anything. Alright, let's see what uh, happens here. I'm sure it's going to tell me I have too much damage, but we'll go ahead with it anyway. Yep, too much damage. Race is over before it even gets started. But, uh... I absolutely expected that. Yeah, I mean, nothing you can do. Lesson learned. I think for the Daytona 500, I'm gonna, uh... Stay out of the pack in the beginning. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you for the uh, season opener for the NASCAR iRacing series, the Daytona 500. Alright, bye.